Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick review of Shazam Fury of the Gods as I'm trying to work on a Scream spoiler video. And that video is going to be like longer to record. And I felt for this movie I could just do a little talk about it because uh, it's all it really needs. Shazam Fury of the Gods comes from the same director, David F. Sandberg, who's directed such films as Lights Out and Annabelle Creation. Uh, those projects at Warner Brothers, which are horror films, uh, Lights Out being based on his short film that he did because he used to do short films on his channel with his wife, uh, who is in the movie, by the way. She has a cameo. Uh, early on during the bridge scene of this movie. He did the first Shazam. I fucking love the first Shazam for context. It's one of my top ten favorite superhero movies ever. It's just a great family film, a great vibe. It kind of throws back to the Raimi Spider-Man films and the tone of it. At times, it gets a bit crazier in ways. There are horror elements in it. But it, let alone, is like a fun superhero Goonies-esque thing. Which, funny enough, um, Billy Bats and, uh, as a teenager wears a Goonies shirt in this movie... So I don't know if they were just crediting the fact that it kind of felt like a Goonies vibe where they're friends but family from an orphanage and, you know, how the movie spreads out. And it does a really good job at that. I thought this movie was fun. Uh, I didn't think it was as good as the first one. I think that tonally there are some issues. Some of the humor doesn't always land. And it's a very basic story. A weak premise that anyone could really have written. It's a very basic superhero story. But if you're going to see this movie, you're going to get some chuckles. You're going for some decent action. You're going to have a fun time because uh, there's a lot of stuff here that works. Jack Dylan Grazer is great, again, as Freddy. Uh, he's probably the standout, in my opinion, of this movie. I thought the villains uh, were very mixed because there's technically three. Um, and that's kind of spoiler whatever. We're going to get into it really quick. Uh, Rachel Zegler plays Athena. And I'm forgetting the name of the other two characters, but I know the actresses are Helen Mirren and uh, Lucy Liu. And I thought Lucy Liu was probably the weakest. She's giving a decent performance, but she is very one note. Helen Mirren is kind of this mixed note, and I thought she had some funny line deliveries. And it was definitely the most, like, presentable. She's doing something way more grand, and that's just Helen Mirren being the badass that she is. And Rachel Zegler is good. They don't give her the greatest role, but you could definitely tell that she's here for just, like, a simplistic factor. Uh, but her relationship with Freddy really works, and that's why they're probably my two favorite characters of the movie overall. Uh, Zachary Levi does a fun job, but he, you know, Billy Batson is more mature when he's a teen, and for some reason when he becomes a superhero, he's way faster talking and goofier, and that element doesn't fully line up, and things like that, you just don't take the question. You just go have a fun time. You'll have a fun time. A lot of stuff here does work. I got a lot of chuckles. I say the third act action sequence was really well done. The dragon looked really good it played pretty smoothly the cameo near the ending is fucking dumb and it's already been leaked online because they wanted to get this movie to be a box office success no matter what they do this film wasn't going to be successful it, and that's due to the shitty trailers i was not looking forward to going to see it and i had way more fun than i would have expected because the trailers d did not work like at all for me <laughs> so overall fun time I think if you were a fan of the first Shazam or you have family, this isn't the worst film to go check out. I would like this film to make a bit more money. It sucks it's going to like horrendously bomb over like almost any other superhero movie ever. It's not the worst superhero movie ever. I saw Ant-Man this year, and that's not the worst superhero movie ever. But I'm just saying like, if Thor Love and Thunder could be successful in Ant-Man, even though it wasn't super successful, made a good money enough to be a profitable movie um, by quite a bit. I think this movie deserves it. The fact that it's only $100 million and it probably, in the end of its run worldwide, won't even make above 200 mil is a fucking bummer. Like, it really should have because, like, it's fun. It, if you can go see fucking Ant-Man and sit through that piece of shit as well as Thor Love and Thunder, you can go sit through Shazam 2 and have a better time than those movies. So, I'm gonna at least say a solid 6.5 out of 10. I didn't love it, but I had a decently fun time with it. Um, I'd recommend going to check it out uh, while it's here if you have a family. Honestly, I'm sure John Wick this week will be better. And if not, there's better movies like Scream and Creed 3. I liked Cocaine Bear, Megan Moore. There's movies I liked more. This is like my favorite movie of the year. But it's like my third or fourth favorite DCEU film because I think that universe is a goddamn clusterfuck. Uh, Shazam 1 and The Suicide Squad by James Gunn are probably my favorites. Um, this is about tied with Wonder Woman, the first one, but I probably think Wonder Woman's a bit better, like, a, a, as an actual film, even though the third act's a mess. Um, but this is a fun film, like, it, it's not the worst superhero film like you're thinking, like, it's vastly better than Black Adam, Thor Love and Thunder, Ant-Man, Thor Dark World, other shit that's come out, like, it's not the fucking worst. So, sucks at bomb, but there's a lot of factors to that, like, the marketing, the trailers, the cast, the producers... The controversy about The Rock now, Zachary Levi is kind of stepping in on that, and then 
the news is just making it fucking even worse than it actually sounds. It's just, it's a mess right now over at DC. Hopefully they get that shit fixed, because I want James Gunn's universe to at least succeed, but, like, it's not looking pretty right now, is what I'll say, but I had a decently fun time, surprise, because it looked awful. Yeah, check out Shazam 2, Fear of the Gods, maybe at a matinee pricing, or if you have interest in it, or your family wants to see something, it's not the worst out there. Um... John Wick reviews this weekend, Scream 6 spoiler reviews, I'm working on it, and I'm going to see D&D again on Sunday, so I'll do a review after I see it again. I want to see it again and do uh, a review, especially because it's not even wide release yet, but I will be seeing it again, another early screening on Sunday. Um, but for now, I can say D&D, a lot of fun, but uh, I want to I wanna see it again, see how it holds up on a rewatch. Um, that's it. Bye.